Hi, my name is Patrick. Basically here to help you with regards to plan your con schedule for the CAT examination. So this is basically for students who are planning to start their preparation from April. Now, if you're starting from some other month, you can always, you know, vary it based on the time frame that you're looking for. This is basically a rough schedule. Basically will help you to understand what do I mean by schedule and how do you go about planning for the same. It will depend and differ from person to person. Some person may have more time, some people may have less time, but that is very different. Uh, schedule still has to be that you have to complete your syllabus and the mocks, everything by November. So let's look at a rough schedule. I will come up with another video with regards to how actually you study each topic based on the time available to you. But let's start with the schedule. Broadly speaking, I would take the stages of preparation to three parts. The first is syllabus. Second is revision. Third is mocks and practice. Now this revision, if you're looking at a later stage, I mean, if I start preparing later on, somewhere around July, August, I may not have this revision stage at all. I'll directly have a syllabus stage and mocks in preparation. If I prepare much later than that, I may not even have a syllabus stage. I may directly have mocks in practice. But since we're looking at preparing from April, it is a rough time frame with regards to how do you go about planning and preparing for the same. So that means I would look at completing my syllabus till June. That is, I'll prepare from April to June and complete my syllabus. Then maybe one month of revision. It helps because somewhere you miss out something from in the syllabus, you can revise in the June month, July month, and then maybe your mocks and practice. You can obviously start your mocks much earlier, but this will give you a rough time frame. And after your syllabus, you can definitely write a mock just to understand where you stand. You can also write the mock when you're preparing your syllabus just to understand how the papers are. That you can do. But a serious mocks and practice could be done maybe after July. Okay, now let's look at, if I'm looking at three months, April, May, June to finish my syllabus, I'm looking at roughly 12 weeks in terms of preparing, completing my syllabus. So if it's 12 weeks, I'm assuming I have six days to prepare and one day could be either a rest or revision, whichever you can look at. So net net, I'm going to plan for 72 days. I mean, this is how you plan. So when do you want to complete a syllabus? How many weeks you have? How many days you have? And based on that, then you start planning your syllabus. So this could vary from person to person based on your commitments. Maybe you have exam, maybe you have project, maybe you have something else. Plan accordingly and decide what and how it suits you. So I've given you a rough estimate in terms of the number of days for each of the topics which are there. Now this days could vary from person to person. Normally the ballpoint, the basic idea is you spend less time on the topics which are comfortable and maybe more time on a topic which are not comfortable. I broadly mentioned the topics out here. You can also vary the type of topic and other things as such. Now, if you look at it, I have given more time for maybe a number system where the topic is vast and time for distance where the topic is really vast. So technically spend more time on areas where the syllabus is slightly bigger and less time on topics which are not too much on that aspect. So look at that aspect. For example, profit and loss is basically a application of percentage you will cover most of the things in percentage. You have to just practice a few sums and solve profit and loss. So two days should suffice. Again, it depends on person to person, how you are, what you are, plan accordingly. So this, if you plan, you realize that you take up 72 days accordingly. I've broken up geometry into five parts. Purely geometry has a good amount of weightage and therefore given quite a considerable time for geometry. You can definitely reduce it. Okay, you also have, uh, enough weightage for equations, inequalities and functions where I've given enough weightage for that in terms of days. You can definitely vary it based on, you know, what you feel is important, what you feel is not important. So if I was a person who was comfortable with the initial topics like averages, percentage, profit loss, I would complete this maybe in two, two, two days and then maybe spend more time on the later part. But if I'm not comfortable with this arithmetic part, I will spend maybe more time on this Maybe cut down on my geometry part and like to work on that. So that's how you go about it. Right? Don't worry that you have to master a topic during complete the syllabus. So suppose it give you five days for it. Try to stick your deadline to five days. Do as much as possible in five days. Don't try to master a topic because the moment you try to master a topic, you will tend to solve too many sums and you will extend the deadline, which is not advisable because that will affect your other parts of your preparation. Also, no one can master a topic at all. I mean, given I 
score hundred percent or six times, I can't claim mastery on any of the topic given out here. Though I can solve most of the sum, but there will always be some which I'm not able to solve. So that's perfectly all right. So don't worry about mastering the topic. Ensure that you're fundamentally clear with regards to it. How to go about preparing for each of the top? How to go about preparing for a topic in the given days? Maybe I'll come up with a different video. But this will. This is a video just to tell you about the scheduling with regards to your preparation. Now coming to preparing a plan. Okay. Try and stick to a deadline. So whatever your plan that you prepared, stick to a deadline. So I mentioned. So if you said five days, please stick to five days. It is possible you may reduce from five days to four days. That's okay. Don't try to extend it. The moment you extend it, your other topics will get suffered. Apart from that, if you fin don't finish in five days, you can always come back to a topic when you're doing revision. That's possible, right? But try to stick to your five days. Don't avoid trying to solve all the sums from the book. Pick up a few sums which are more comfortable and try to solve. That is more important than trying to solve every sum which is there in the book. Try to give more time for your weak areas and less for your stronger topics. So if your weak areas are there, spend more time on that and less maybe for your stronger area. Okay. As I said earlier, avoid extending days per topic could affect time for other topics. So geometry which are kept later, if you don't have time, then it will actually affect your preparation. And if that you extend it, it will go on to your mocks and you will not have enough time for your mocks. So it's very important that you try and stick to a deadline. Regularity is very important in CAT. Can always come back to a topic during revision. Therefore, I kept it one month to revise so that you can come back to it. I mean, to topics, it helps. Normally, revision is not very important. You can always start with the mocks and try to plan it out. But yes, you feel some topics you just need to go about. Revision helps. Need not solve all sums as, as I had mentioned earlier. Just be comfortable with your topic. If you are comfortable with level one sums, is perfectly all right. Take a few sums of level two and solve fine. Most of us, including me, we are not comfortable with level three. It's not necessary that you have to solve all tough sums. Normally in the exam, you have to pick up the easy sums and solve and leave the tough sums out. So just be comfortable with the topic that is more important than trying to solve everything that comes in the exam. I'll come up with a separate video with regards to how to prepare for each topic as such. But this will just generally give you a plan with regards to how to plan per topic. I mean, how to create an overall schedule as such. I hope this helps. Thank you. If you like this video, then do press like, do subscribe, also share it and do comment. If you want any specific videos or any preparation, do let us know. We'll try and bring it to you. Thank you.